In this video, I want to talk about three dangers of math procrastination. So first, let me say that I have always been somewhat of a procrastinator to some extent. Yes, I have. I have not been like that person that is always on top of things. I, I, sometimes I was able to get on top of it and like not procrastinate, but most of the time I was one of those people that's somewhere in the middle. Like I'll procrastinate sometimes and then sometimes I'm really on top of things. But in any case, I always studied a lot. So let me just get that out there, right? I always had to study like a lot. Okay, so the first reason that math procrastination might be dangerous is that you might end up cramming. That's right, cramming. We've all been there. I mean, I have crammed like crazy. There's all kinds of theories about like why cramming doesn't work and why cramming does work. I mean, people have all kinds of opinions when it comes to this stuff. In my experience, cramming is not as good as like, you know, long-term structured studying. And cramming is hard. And the reason it's really hard is because it's what you're doing, right? You have a test tomorrow and then you don't, you don't know anything and you have to spend hours studying. Then you take a test and you probably won't even do as well. Whereas if you had studied before and taken your time and like just paced yourself and done like, you know, two hours a day, you probably would do better right? So that's one of the big dangers of math procrastination is it forces you into that really stressful situation where you're just cramming, where you're, where you're just, you know, studying really hard and you have like this time limit and you're concerned about, you know, how much sleep will you get? I mean, cramming, it's not fun. <laughs> the second reason that math procrastination can be dangerous is, you know, because you end up cramming, um, you're probably not going to do as well. I mean, chances are it's not going to work. I mean, you might have those those few times in your life where, you know, you cram and, and you just rock the test. I mean, that does happen, right? That can happen. But most of the time when you cram, it's it's just not the same result. So because of that cramming, you know, you don't feel well, you don't sleep, it's not healthy, and your grades aren't as good. So math procrastination is really, really it's not good, right? And you know, if you end up doing it, just let me just say, if you do end up procrastinating, it's okay, right? We've all been there. And it's one of those things that, you know, you 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 keep doing it over and over again. You procrastinate and you procrastinate and procrastinate. And it's like you never learn from your mistakes. So how do you beat it? Right? How, how do you get past it? The answer is just practice. Eventually you discipline yourself to like avoid that procrastination. The last reason that math procrastination is really bad, and this one is irreversible, right, is you fail the test, right? It's going to happen, right? I mean, eventually you will fail a test. It could happen. Now, I know people who have gotten through their entire undergrad degrees and they have never failed a test. In fact, I know people who have had 4.0s in math, right? I mean, really amazing. But most of the time, right, most people, most normal people, will fail a test. I failed so many tests, right? I mean, it happens, right? It's something that's going to happen and it's irreversible. There's nothing you can really do once you fail a test. You know, sometimes if you're lucky, you can do like a test retake. This is something I do for some of my classes. I actually use the final exam sometimes to let them replace their lowest test. I don't necessarily always do retakes, but you know, I give them a second chance. So if you have the opportunity for a second chance that is huge right so yeah that's what i think about procrastination i mean those are three reasons that you really 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 want to avoid it what do you think do you procrastinate how do you fight it do you have any tips for people who are watching this video leave a comment below good luck